Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Blake with Blake's Gaming, back with you once again. And uh, today we're going to be talking about some gaming news. I'm going to read it here off of the computer screen, so bear with me. Um, first up, we, uh, we're we going to talk about just some, some stuff coming out, um, some announcements made. Um, and then we're going to talk about some systems coming out. And uh, then of course, games that uh, I'm going to use some release dates on those and some cool stuff like that. Stuff you might not have heard of. Uh, first of, uh, Borderlands 2 is having some new content coming out this Tuesday, which would be the 2nd, I believe, of September. Um, it's going to add levels up to 61, uh, brand new maps, DLC, quests, all that good stuff. Um, all kinds of different new mods, character customizations, um, you know, whatever else you're wanting. Um, for Borderlands 2, you know, all that's going to be uh, in a DLC pack on Tuesday. Um, next thing, this uh, actually really hits home for me because I live um, less than an hour away from here. Uh, Universal Studios is having, of course, Halloween Horror Nights number 23. I went last year to 22. It was the Walking Dead Silent Hill um, one, and that was absolutely amazing. Had a great time. Uh, really, really enjoy Halloween Horror Nights. Not a big Halloween fan, but I enjoy going to that. Um, and this year, they're having even more video game related stuff. Instead of Silent Hill, they went after Capcom. And of course, if they're going after Capcom, they're going after Resident Evil. Um, so they're going to have a huge Resident Evil themed Raccoon City house. Uh, I think it's going to be really, really sweet. Uh, they're also having a Walking Dead one again. Um, so hopefully they instead of it being from the first season hopefully they kinda mix it up maybe put season two or three you know a site from there and maybe the prison uh... something like that i don't know um, power plant who knows um, and they're also going to have uh... the cabin in the woods which was meh that was okay i didn't really care for that movie um, but It'd be cool though if this had some of those crazy ass monsters um, in it. That'd be kind of cool. So um, yeah, we got that coming. Uh, I think it starts what in the September, um, in the October or beginning of October into November, somewhere along those lines. Um, so definitely, I don't know if I'm going this year. Um, I have to find some friends to go with or something. Um, but definitely, it's gonna be cool with Resident Evil there. I'd like to go see Raccoon City. Um, next up, we're going to get into some consoles being announced um, with release dates. Uh, Game Stick, it's a brand new Android-based console, modded, yeah, modded, modeled after the Ouya. Um, except this thing is just like a little flash drive. It's just like uh, if anybody has those off-brand uh, Nyko uh, Raven wireless PS3 controllers, you, know, you get that thing that kind of looks like a thumbstick or whatever you plug into the USB port on your PS3 as the receiver. Uh, this is the same thing, but it plugs into your HDMI on your TV. Um, and that's the entire game console, apparently. Um, it has a very, very old school, um, it's like a Nyko Playpad, um, kind of old NES uh, rectangle controller, but it's got uh, two joysticks, four face buttons, directional pad. Uh, start home menu and all that, and it's a lot cheaper than you. It's only $79 uh, as compared to 100 or even more if you need another controller. Um, so definitely something to keep your eye on. It's going to be shipping at the end of September. Um, so if you're looking for an Android-based uh, gaming system for your TV, you might want to check out the Game Stick as compared to the Ouya. Um, it might be better. I don't know. Um, another thing that really interests me um, I will be getting a Wii U on September 20th, like a lot of other people. Um, they are having the Zelda edition, the Wind Waker HD Wii U. Now, what this is, is going to be a deluxe Wii U set. It's going to be the black system with a black controller, but the controller, if you have seen my unboxing or if you've seen any of the 3DSs that are the Zelda edition, 
uh, where it says the black with the gold trim, that is exactly what uh, this gamepad will feature. It's going to be all black with the gold trim around it, match the 3DS very nicely. Um, and it's also going to include a downloadable version of Hyrule Historia, which I already have, of course, manually um, in a regular book form. But you're going to get a download code for that, and also a download code for uh, Zelda uh, HD on the Wii U. So really not... I'm probably going to trade that or sell that off. Um, but I am going to pick up the other thing coming out about a week later, or maybe two weeks later, um, is the Zelda uh, Wind Waker HD remake with the Ganondorf uh, figurine. Now that is a GameStop exclusive. It's going to run around $60. It's about $10 more than the standard. Um, and it's supposed to be a 5-inch figurine. It looks really cool. Um, and it's supposed to be it's known as the Zelda... Uh, Wind Waker Limited Edition Bundle, I believe. And then the Wii U is the Zelda Wind Waker HD Wii U Bundle. Um, so the Wii U is going to be $299. Um, that is also going to be the new standard price for the deluxe models. Don't know if the white models are dropping down to $249. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Nintendo is dropping the price on the Wii U. And um, they're finally coming out with a special one, so I'm going to pick one up. Um, and play some cool Wii U games that I've seen out there. Uh, next thing is Nintendo also announced a new console. Um, you're like, well, they already got a 3DS and a 3DS XL. Well, they're taking a step backwards. They're going to the 2DS, um, which is kind of cool looking. I, myself, am very interested in this. Um, however, I want to see if we can get one like uh, Europe's getting. Europe is getting a cool white and red one. kind of looks like a Famicom um, kind of deal going on with the color combination. Here we're getting a blue and black and a red and black. Um, so ours is black and red instead of white and red. But I like the white and red better. Um, but what it is, it's kind of like if you guys have seen uh, the Sony tablets. The Sony uh, where they ha have that wedge looking factor to them. Where they're really skinny at the bottom. But then they gradually get thicker as they go up. Um, that is what this is going to be. There's no fold over or anything. It doesn't play any of the games in 3D. It's just 2D only. Um, but it plays all your 3DS games, DS games. It's going to have the same exact screen size as a original 3DS with slightly better battery life, but not as good as the 3DS XL. Um, so definitely it's targeted for kids um, you know, that don't want to mess their eyes up. And it's very, very rugged, sturdy, has very nice shoulder buttons. And that's definitely something I'm going to keep my eye on in the future. Will I buy one at launch? No. Um, but it is something if hopefully they come out with a uh, white red one over here or something along that line. Um, don't, you know, be too surprised if you see an unboxing for that coming up. Um, you know, if they come out with something like that over here. Because uh, it's definitely a cool concept. I like that Nintendo's trying to get the younger generation in um, instead of having them go towards Android and Apple. So... Very good, Nintendo. I salute you for that. And, um, hey, it'll be good that now that, you know, parents can play with their kids, too. So, uh, that, I believe, is all of the system announcements um, and other gaming newsy stuff that I saw this past couple days. Um, so, let's get into some games that you might not have heard about and the release dates. Uh, first of all, Ease, Memories of uh, Salsetta. It's coming out of the Silver Anniversary Edition, thank God. I was like, come on, an Ease game with not, no, uh, no box set? Come on. Jeez, look at the PSP. It had three of them. Um, so finally, they're getting the Silver Anniversary because I believe it's either, was it 20, 25 years um, of Ease. So uh, you get a three-disc soundtrack with it. You're going to get a map. Um, what else are we going to get? We are going to get a compass and a journal. So there's going to be an art book, map, a compass, a 3D soundtrack, the Vita game. All is going to be awesome. It's $20 more than the standard edition. It's $59.99. Not bad. For uh, And it's going to be out on November 5th. So stay tuned for that. That's one of my big reasons I purchased the Vita was I really enjoyed E7. Um, so definitely looking forward to playing Memories of Salsetta. If I say that right, I don't know. 
Uh, next up is Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix Limited Edition. Um, some people might not know there's a limited edition. comes with an art book. Same price. It's $39.99. It's going to be out on September 10th, so that's coming up here very shortly. Um, what this is going to include is going to include the GBA slash PS2 uh, port of Chain of Memories and also I believe Final or Kingdom Hearts Final Mix uh, which I believe is number one yes it's gonna be number one um, so this does not include the HD remake of two it's just the HD remake of one with the Final Mix add-on content that's going to be Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories HD Remade. And then it's also going to have all of the cutscenes from the DS game, Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. Um, so definitely cool. Um, wishing they would have threw two in there with an HD and made it like a collection thing with uh, the new one coming out. But hopefully maybe they come out with a two um, and maybe a birth by sleep kind of deal going on. That would be kind of cool. Um, but, yeah, so maybe they'll come out with a 2.5. Um, but, yeah, it's September 10th, and the art book looks pretty sweet. Um, so definitely pick that up if you're a Kingdom Hearts fan. Um, next game is... I just closed it. Why did I close it? It's Arcania, the Complete Collection. Um, now, over here in the States, we didn't really get uh, any of the gothic games. Um, this is technically gothic 4. Uh, it's a Euro styled RPG so it's like a Elder Scrolls Dragon Age um, you know with the medieval aspect um, to it. Uh, Two Worlds is a good example as well. Um, Fable, those kind of games. Um, and this is the complete collection or the complete tale. Um, this includes Arcania uh, the game, which is otherwise known, like I said, as Gothic 4, and the uh, expansion pack that came out only on PC. Um, so this game is coming out on the PlayStation 3 here in the States. Uh, I believe overseas it's coming out on the 360 and the PS3. Um, however, if you don't have a PS3 and you live over here, you can still get the standard Arcania Gothic 4 at GameStop for around $25 used. Um, but like I said, it doesn't come with a DLC or any of that. So if you own a PS3 and you're looking for a Two Worlds esque game, um, it does have some low, you know, it's a low budget title. So don't go in there expecting Oblivion or Skyrim or Dragon Age. Don't expect these big, you know, awesome effects and all. You can get past that. It looks like it would have been a very, very good 2002 to 2004 PC uh, RPG. Um, has voice acting and all that, but it's not the greatest. But for $29.99 for a game with all of its DLC, it's kind of hard to pass up with an open world adventure like that. So it's all called Arcania, the Complete Collection or the Complete Tale. Um, it's out now, so go pick it up. Uh, next thing is... Uh, the Elder Scrolls Anthology will keep it going. Um, now, this is every Elder Scrolls game from Arena to Skyrim is coming out. And I believe it includes all DLC for all games. So you're getting all of Morrowind's DLC. You're getting all of Daggerfall's DLC. You're getting uh, all of Oblivion's DLC, Skyrim's DLC. And you're also getting Arena. Uh, the cool thing is that this does come with a DOS simulator. So you'll uh, simulator emulator. Um, so you'll be able to play these games on your PC now, um, which is very very cool. Uh, it's going to retail for seventy nine ninety nine, and it's going to come out on September tenth, same day as Kingdom Hearts. Um, so keep a lookout for that. Uh, if you pre order it right now, you get a ten dollar Amazon gift card, um, which is a very good deal. So you're looking at sixty nine ninety nine for the complete Elder Scrolls series with all DLC. If your PC can handle it. Um, definitely pick it up. I know I have a Intel uh, Core 2 Duo or whatever with Intel HD graphics and it can run Oblivion on low. So you don't really need a powerful PC to enjoy these games. Um, so definitely go check that out if you're into it. Um, but other than that, that is about uh, all of the gaming news I have for this episode. Um, so hope you guys have enjoyed it. If there's anything else, 
um, that I might have missed or you want to talk about in the comments, um, just leave me a message, PM me, make a video response. Um, if I left some things out or if you had a question about anything. Um, so until next time, this has been Blake of Blake's Gamer. Hope you all have enjoyed. Um, it's been a long video. <laughs> but um, definitely go check out all that stuff. Just go to Google, type it in. You'll find it very easy. Uh, remember to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, if you do enjoy the channel, subscribe. Um, and you'll see more gaming-related stuff. So until next time, peace out, YouTube.